one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is likely the most unique car that I've ever had not because it's any reason ex well here this is a one owner 2001 Volvo S80 T6 twin charge there in the executive model this is a sweet car one owner like I said and here comes the 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 straw that broke the camel's back here. 16,800 original miles. Um, this car was very well cared for, very well taken care of, and I don't even think they got to where they really even had to get to a service on it. Um, I'm going to do a once around here, kind of show you the car as a whole, um, then I'm going to do a twice around to show you any minor damage that you can find on it, which I can't even think of anything right now of what I'm going to show you. This could be a pretty quick review. If you watch my channel much, you know that I do lots of Euro type stuff. Not a lot of Volvos. Um, however, you get something with big old twin charge straight six like this, and one owner, and this kind of miles, oh my god, bells and whistles in my head going off all over. We just had to have this. And uh, my mom's looking for a new car right now. Then we're actually thinking about just keeping it for her pop it up to about 50,000 over the next three years and just use it. Um, it's a beautiful car and if this is what you're looking for, stop it. Don't look no more. Call me 406 6919 It's a California car its whole life and man it's pretty. I'm gonna go up close now and I'll show you anything about it that I can possibly think to show you. Um, show you the underneath and all that. Uh, my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Lots of unique one and two owner classic Euro and muscle cars. I even got some older projects of some really cool classic Mercedes and Corvettes and Trans Ams and such. But mostly one and two owner, like 260 cars I got to see about 40 or 50 of them. <clears throat> well, that's your once around. Now I'm gonna, what I'd like to do is I think I'll just show you all the underneath first. right tire back on it. Um, this has 17s, but it's a Michelin 225-50R17 Pilot MX M4s. Great tires. I love that. Logo. It looks just like a little baby Peterbilt or something, or a baby semi-truck. Now my low-level light adjustment's been taking longer here, but as you can see, nice as can be. I mean, it's hardly got any road dust on it. Fog lights are broken. Let me show you up under here. Look at this. Little titties all over the tires on the side. Just as new as it gets. So much tread. Even got, oh wow! Hope you can see that. Probably not. Come on, there we go. Even got tread in the center of the tread still. Or on titties. So. Pretty slick. I think they actually put tires on it again. Probably just due to age. Look at this, all the heat sink protecting stuff around it still. Look how clean this is. Did I mention this is clean? Did I mention that the stinking bottom of it is, looks like the paint on the top of it? Okay, I mean this is just amazingly beautiful. If you're looking for a car like this, like I said, stop it. Get this one. Um, I'm gonna go and do the twice around now. Show you the anything I can find on it. God, it's a beautiful car, and it drives so nice. Fully loaded with all the leather amenities and all the options. Cup holders everywhere, airbags everywhere, safe and all that. Nathan 406 544 6919. Hoping for a good thumbnail there. All right, going down the side of this car. There just ain't really much to talk about on it. Absolutely beautiful. I'm looking for door dings. And I'm telling you. That dust right there. 
Good luck. It's just not dingy. This ain't a dingy car. Yeah, the trim's just beautiful. Everything. Oh! There we go. That light. I think the clips are broke on it. Should be stuck back on with a piece of double stick or something. Ooh! There we go. I'm all happy when I find some damage. He rubbed against something just slightly right there. Um, some sort. Some lenses. Look at the lenses. This thing look like he had it out of the garage. It's just amazing. Bug. Yeah, it's a bug on it. Some kind of little drip there. Beeswax. <laughs> there just ain't nothing to talk about, man. I'm looking hard here, and I hope my camera angle's showing it all. But, God, I hate to see a, say a, a dingless car. Because the minute you say that, there's going to be a ding on it, but <clears throat> I can't find it. I just can't, and I'm looking hard on this one. Ooh, there you go. Little teeny scuff from opening that door into something. And my hands get dirty from working on cars. It's what I do. I don't just drive these beautiful cars all day long. Oh! Teeny ding! Tiny, tiny ding! Super tiny. Little ding though. Found one. And that makes me satisfied. I don't think there's any car dealers out there looking that hard for a ding, but there's gotta be something. Look at the black spoiler down here. Just beautiful. I didn't show you underneath the back. Let me do that. And we'll go on a test drive. That's dust. Just dust. Little teeny scuff right there. Very tiny, but all the same. Okay, wait till you see this till the low light level. Low level light adjustment adjusts. This is truly amazing. It should be on a Volvo showroom floor somewhere. That's all there is to it. Okay. There's just, I want to say 95%, but that just sounds awfully new. But they do look awfully new. Okay, that's a once around, that's a twice around, that's a round, around, around. I'm going to get a side shot here for you. Sunroof, everything works on it too. We'll go for a test drive, and then I'll shoot up to the house here and give you a uh, show the inside and all that. Once again, it's Nathan 406 544 6919. It feels like I'm forgetting something because I just ain't showed you nothing. And uh, my main thing on these videos is damage. And yeah, I've showed you lots of the car, but there ain't no damage to show you. Dang it. Um, even the little factory. Um, I'll show you the mud guards here in a second. www.oneownercarguy.com. Call anytime and check out my other videos. Over 720 or so of them on here. And I sell lots of one and two owner cars cheap. Subscribe! Then you'll be the first to know when I upload one of these newer classes like this. Even your mud flaps on the front. Now I gotta make sure I actually have flaps and not mud flap. <laughs> yeah, it's all good here. Okay, that's it. Test driving we go. Uh, windshield wipers on the front little things there. Oh yeah, baby. It's as nice as it gets. Okay, on the road again. Oh, I left the seats down for when I was taking a picture. Okay. This is likely the coolest thing about it. Actually, no, the cool just doesn't stop with this car. But 
16357 I said 168 Well, that might be close to what you end up with by the time you get it. I don't know if I'll drive it that much, but I am driving it. Um, radio is fine and very, very high quality. I'm turning the AC up a bit because it, of course, works great. And I would just like to do that adjustable steering wheel. My goodness, like a third of a push of the pedal. And it's just off. I'm gonna slow down. I took a 35, like right, right now. I'm gonna slow down. 15 and. Jeez, dude, that's like half to two third throttle. And the thing's just starting to wanna peel out and pull the front wheels out, man. Woo, these things are nice. I'm not even turning around here. I'm gonna go down a little farther. Man, I'll tell you, I really do like driving this car. Um, tight as can be. And I see these a lot, but they've got a lot of miles on them. Hope you can hear me over the AC. If you can't, I'm sorry. Just enjoy the ride. I gotta let off, man. That thing's starting to spool up and just pull the front and peel out like it ain't no thing. It catches with the traction control and stops it. Because I did get on a little bit more one time. But it's right up to 40 in a few seconds. Um, smooth riding as can be. No matter if it's uphill or what. And honestly, very nice to drive around corners. Um, nice cornering car. Uh, we're gonna go up here. Brakes are good. Upshifts and downshifts are good. That was like a third throttle and gave a nice downshift. Um, honestly, I'm scared to floor the thing. That's just all there is to it. I am scared to floor this car. Um, on the highway, Maybe if he's going 25 to 40, coming on an arm ramp, I'd floor it. And I have. Um, set out a light. Man, good way to get a ticket. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm getting older. If I'd have had this car when I was like 15, I'd have been hell on wheels. That's all there is to it. But I'm old now. Don't need to be rip roaring everywhere I go. Oh, there you go. Speaking of low mile cars. 36,000 mile Lincoln Mark 8 right there. Beautiful car. Nice S500 coming up. Both of them are one owner. Got a one owner 560 SL coming up. 86, good for Netherlands export. And that SL600 will be coming up someday. Okay. Make sure I can show you the back. Now I had the seats down. And I did the interior first on this car. That's what it was. And you'll notice in the video that the seats are down when I walk into the car here. But by the time I do this part, the seats are down. Excuse me, when I'm doing the interior, they're up and I put them down. So, just the way it went here. And I've already boxed that up when I did the interior video. You see all these books and stuff underneath this cover. I wanted to show you too, I've been showing these lately. One owner, and not only that, um, out of a possible score of 58 to 77, this one scored a 92. 92, baby! That's like A plus, ain't it? Especially when everybody else, the top is 77. So, boom, 14,889. It's got 16 now. Couple thousand since 2010 in Beverly Hills. Got that. Well, shows you the interior, showed you it with the seats down, showed you it with the seats up, showed you it's every way I can think of showing you. Thinking that my camera may overheat just to overheat on me. 
Um, it's just not possible to do these films straight through with no break on the camera, on these DLSR, mini DLSR cameras. But, oh, 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 motor. Did I show you motor? I might have showed it before. If it is, if I did, you can just look at it twice because it's that pretty. It really is. Look at this. Look at the hood liner. You're going to have to wait for the low-level light adjustment. And if you're waiting for the second time, that might suck, but whatever. I forgot what I did. I'm sorry. Look at this. I know I didn't show it in the sun if I did, because I know I took the pictures in the shade. So at least you can see what it looks like under here. Just as nice as it gets. You're not going to find a nicer one. If you do, buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Okay. Well, that's it. My name's Nathan, once again. 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And other than that, www.oneownercarguy.com and man check out my channel view my other videos well over 700 of them on here and I get all kinds of unique one and two owner classic gyro and muscle cars and I sell them cheap thanks for watching have a great day or night I'll ship this anywhere in the world we'll talk to you 16,357 miles auto sentinel lights or whatever they call them on this year um, all the all the options a guy could want on the car I mean SRS airbags everywhere these Volvos are some of the safest things around they say um, oh, let me give you the options tour here and out and in I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit for me again the right Oh, excuse me, that would be the left. Arr, up and down. Just a little bit for me. Auto down windows. And... And it don't just open, folks. It closes. One owner. 16,000 original mile. There's the up. There's the back. And it all works. One owner. Clean low mile car. Twin charged. <whistles> Steering wheel controls. And featuring 16 brewers. Get a channel I know works. Dual climate control. Um, man, I'll tell you, you got um, cup holders everywhere. Two there, two there. You got a thing there, you got a cup holder there. You got a cup holder there. Man, you could go down the road with six cups in the front of this thing and have a holder for each one and have one in your hand too. That's seven drinks, and you can put two more back there. Whoop, whoop. Man, tell you what. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's telling me my door is open, ain't it? Sure is. Um, all sorts of different fog lights and such. I'm going to go show you underneath the hood and everything while we're here. Show you in the trunk, of course. Um, door panels. Just absolutely beautiful. I really, really, really hate to say like new on anything, but you ain't gonna find one looking better and cleaner and more mild than this. The only wear on the pedal seems to be my dust from my feet being on. Carpets are in great shape. Floor mats, factory floor mats. Oh, I took the key out here. You'll have to wait. If you're buying a car like this, you're going to want to see things like this. I mean, back, forward, up, down, up, down with the memory, all that good stuff. Cruise control. 
all that works. Man, the way this thing rides and is, it's just hard to believe that it's such a rocket. I mean, it is just a rocket sleeper car for sure. Meaning, pull up beside a little Civic and blow his doors off. He's going to have to have something special under his hood to keep with, up with one of these. And just solid car. Just the way the feel of the doors and everything. Now, this is my first real true S80 I've been selling. And it takes something special to get me into something different than my normal Mercedes and what I do. And I do like Volvos and just unique ones. And this is definitely a unique one. You see them. I've been on them. They're just not in this shape. I like stuff just as new as you could possibly get it. Oh, cool. Rear package tray and everything's in great shape. Back of these seats. I mean, the car has hardly been used. Sorry if I fingered the lens there. Oh, man. It just sounds so good closing. I'm going to open the hood before I go around back. California car. I've been driving it. There's your plates. All the books and everything. Oh, there's my lens cover. Even got the Volvo battery mate as check form. Suede. Or whatever cover. Suede, awa suede awaited. Even got that paper. People lose that kind of stuff. This has got it all. Look at this. I'm going to go ahead and... Now I'm wishing I'd have taken my photos first. Because now I'm going to have to do this twice. But that's the way it goes. Okay. Let's get this up. Oh, wow. Extra bags and such. What is this? Brand new jug of oil. You ain't gonna get that. That's going in a different car there, buddy. Oh wow, this has never even been opened. Maybe they did, I don't know. Here's your battery. Covered in there. What is this? I'll bet you that's some type of... Oh yeah, bam. Almost guaranteed. Right there. And that's right, I had the battery swapped and I'll bet you they just didn't... Yep, guaranteed. Mitchell and... Wow, oh, spare? Ain't never been on the road. Look at the titties on the sides, on the on the face of the truck, and everything. Got the little hole in the lay down seat. Just got another cart that showed up. I'm gonna pull these. Well, you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up and pull this down and I guess that could be a different way, I'll bet you that hooks look at that it's okay girl mommy's coming Dash is beautiful. Everything on the car is beautiful. It's in great shape. I'm gonna have to move this box here to where you can see the door panel. No crying. She'll say hello. We got miniature beagles coming here. If you're into that sort of thing, my, my girls had a litter. Of course, it has all the books there in the back, like you just seen. The wood and stuff's in great shape. The leather's in great shape. Oh, did I say, the car still smells new. 
100% seriously, the car still smells new. Uh, what kind of size is just straight as can be? Oh, she's just crying away. Okay. Look at that. Let the low level light adjustment shift. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know that I've ever had anything that looked this new underneath. Twin charge. I don't know if you'll be able to read that all in one setting there. Oh. Ah, my lens cover. And it's underneath it somewhere in the little trough. We'll have to get it later here. That really sucks. I've lost two of them now. It's hard to return your camera with no lens covers. SRS vehicle and all. 2.86 and all that. This car's in great shape. The hood opens and closes just like new. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut the back trunk here. And then we will take it out here and end this video. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. Factory key and key fob and all. like the, the wood on the inside of these. Just in beautiful shape. You know, it's I think it's the darker wood that I dig. Almost guess. I almost put that up for the gear shifter. That wasn't the gear shifter. Absolutely beautiful car. Name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And like I've said, this is a one owner, 16,000 original mile, 2001 Volvo S80 T6 Executive. Uh, it gets no nicer. That's just all there is to say about it. It gets no nicer. If this is the body car that you're looking for and you want one of these in this classic style, I guess it would be now, this is the one for you. Um, runs, operates, shifts, smells as new. Um, beautiful car, beautiful lines, piece of automotive history here. Um, super cool. Which one was the Saint car? Was it this one or another one? Well, my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. My name, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, once again, www.oneownercarguy.com. Call me on this car. Import, export. I will export this car anywhere in the world. You name it and claim it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you on it. And I just can't think of nothing. So I think we're just about done. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night.